Hey y'all, what's happening? It's Miss Sunday. Ooh, I am so excited to be with you all. You know I love my soul sojourners. Welcome on in to Central Conque Soul Tarot. Um, we are getting on to do the Leo reading. It's time for my Leos. The Leo gang, what's up? Hold up a minute. Wait just another minute. Woo. I am so excited to be doing y'all's readings today. You know, I love y'all. First of all, my husband is Leo, y'all. So, you know I love y'all. <laughs> so, stop playing with me. I heard these traits. But, why don't y'all take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate what y'all do. Please also do share. If you know someone who needs to hear this message, also do not forget to hit that notification bell and hit all so you get all the videos that I load on a daily basis. And don't y'all be, you know, clicking off for here and don't subscribe now, y'all. Don't do me fun. <laughs> <Stop playing, y'all. laughs> now, y'all know what we're ready unless I, unless I did this, y'all. Please subscribe. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. But for real, please do subscribe and um like and share. But we'll begin. We're going to take a look at your current situation, Leon. And see what's going on in my Leo situation. What's going on, y'all? Y'all. <laughs> I'm so tickled because I said, I'm going to go do a reading. And I told my husband, I said, it's time to do the Leo reading. <laughs> and my husband, Leo. <laughs> so he can't wait to see what's going to happen, y'all. Um, Sprint, talk to us about me, um, what's happening in Leo's energy at this time, please. We invoke all angels of light, divine beings, heavenly hosts, and pours of divine work on the behalf of Leo at this time. What is going on? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Leo? <laughs> but how have y'all been doing comments? Don't be afraid to leave a comment, you all. Um... And let me know how things are going. Of course, I always love to know how y'all are doing. Love Unlimited to you all. What's going on, Spirit? Talk to us about current situation for Leo at this time, please. Leo. What's going on, current situation for Leo. What's this to turn around? Okay, what's going on, Leo? What's going on? Talk to the spirit about current situation. Okay, um, Leo, first card coming out is you have I can't make it without you. So somebody definitely feels like they cannot make it without you, Leo. What's going on, Leo? <laughs> somebody got that little bit dub dub about you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm feeling a good energy for you all. I really am. Let me see. What's this coming out? Okay. We have low vibrational energy. We also have coming out here after your money and what you can do for me. What's that about, Leo? Somebody after y'all's coins. <laughs> and then we also have sexual desire. So, ooh, a passionate, some fiery sexual energy showing up in y'all's energy. Um, What's this going on? Some type of low vibrational energy. You could be concerned about money right now or somebody in your energy. Um, What's this one? If this one to come out. I hate myself because of you. Who is this? And y'all's energy, um, Leo, I just wanted to pop out. I hate myself because of you. Somebody feels like they hate themselves because of you. What's that? Hmm. We'll find out. Let's see what this about. Let's see what this all about. Um, Spree, let's get some information here on um the overall energy for Leo at this time. I'm going to use this deck right here. Spirit, talk to me about overall energy for Leo. <clears throat> Spirit, talk to me about overall energy for Leo at this time, please. Energy, overall energy. 
energy for Leo spirits. about overall energy. Talk to me about overall energy here. Overall energy of this reading. Overall energy of the reading, please, for Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we have the hangman in the reverse. Okay, that's Pisces energy. We're going to talk to me about current energy for Leo. <coughs> Excuse me, Spirit. Energy for Leo. Okay. And we have the king of swords. Okay. I see a major conversation taking place or communication going on here um, that's going to bring clarity here about the situation or getting us stuck out of um, like a stalemate type of situation or a, a time of silence. Hey, we got the page of cups. Yeah, what did I say? Communication here. Emotional communication. Displaying the truth or communicating the truth. Um, yeah, between the lovers. Yeah, so there's definitely a soulmate connection here. I'm seeing a, a uh, passionate uh, reconciliation here, Leo. Ooh, we got desire. There could have been, um, like I said, this feeling of limp, uh, being left out in the cold here. That's what I really feel this card is that's talking about after your money uh, and what you can do for me. This is really giving me kind of like that five of uh, pentacles energy. Where there was like this um, period of silence or no communication between you um, and your soulmate. But there's this intense desire here. That's what I really love about this reading. This intense, passionate, um, ace of wands type of energy. Um, let's get more clarification on this. Because what is the hangman in the reverse spirits? Hangman in the reverse. Okay, we have the six of swords. Yeah, what did I say? Things moving into calmer water here. There was a time of um, being stuck. Like between you and your person here, Leo. There was a time of like silence or no communication. But then a uh, powerful conversation here. Page of Cups energy to the King of Swords energy. Um, a conversation that brings the two of you back together. Um... Why is the king of swords here? And y'all, let me tell you something, Leo. I'm saying the badoink and doink. <laughs> what did I say, Leo? As soon as I said that, five of pentacles. Didn't I say that? I saw it in the spirit before it even happened. That's really, that core, it has nothing. Cause, and that's one thing you have to understand about the tarot and about the spirit. It just because a card says one thing, it has different several layers and several meanings. And with this really, like I said, it's giving like that five of pentacles energy. This feeling of being left out of the cold or the feeling of abandonment or feeling um, that there's been no communication. Either way, that's what it's boiling down to. And both of you feeling like that. But underneath what I love is this desire, like this uh, passion. You know, you have both of you, like I said, deeply, deep soul connection here with the hermit energy. Um, a deep soul connection. Why is the page of cups here? And this person could have been um, angry with you for something that you said to them. I'm getting that energy too. Uh, which is why we have this energy about I hate myself because of you. So this could have been something that either hurt this person or um, or it was something that deflated their ego or pride or something that um, 
make them um, second guess themselves, some type of energy like that, which is why we have this low vibrational energy here. But this person, like I said, this is your soulmate that I can see you're reading. Um, they can't make it without you deeply in love with you. This is deep um, soulmate connection I see. And look at this desire. This is what I'm saying, Leo. What's, yeah, let me tell y'all. I'm saying y'all getting ready to be doing that. Uh, the um, uh, but don't you don't. The 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 Esquire, the Rondebo Go Go ship. <laughs> Just get down to y'all. <laughs> we got the magician. Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm saying. You got the magician here. Things really turning. Um, a new page for you two here with this magician card. I love to be seeing this uh, in association with the page of cups energy, especially right next to the five of pentacles, because it's going to be like you guys are going to be coming out of a ten of wands energy, like a time of struggle, maybe where you both were almost seeming like adversaries somewhat um, against each other, not on the same page. To boom, this moment, this conversation, this opportunity to discuss what's really been going on. And then things moving completely 360 into this passionate, fiery new beginning here. I mean, like the it's like the gods have um, poured a cup into the energy for you too. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this energy. Yeah, coming from a time where you are both probably feeling betrayal or there's been betrayal in the past. There could have been a holding on to those betrayal or past hurts um, or grudges being held that uh, are being released or being let go of. Yeah, the feeling of being on the defense. Both of you have been on the defense of type of energy, but all of that coming to a close here. The lovers. <clears throat> I got to tell you, I'm loving this energy, Leo. I'm telling you. Um, King of Cups. Yeah, this person loves you, Leo. My goodness. Showing up as the King of Cups. My goodness. What did I say? Love? Look at that. That King of Cups energy. My gosh. This person was feeling sad while you guys weren't communicating. You know. Sad over the argument, the fight, whatever it was that happened between you two. Wanting peace between you two, temperance, the uh, Sagittarius energy. I mean, this is uh, this energy I'm loving. Like this lover's card to the King of Cups energy. Um, and this sexual desire, which is giving me that Ace of Wands energy, which I love. Let's take a look here. Actually, let's get messages from uh, the Heart Sphere. I want to clarify this first and then... We'll move into um, energies from your soulmate, Leo. How they feel about you at this time. Um, they're feeling for you. Talk to me about heart spheres. What's happening for the heart space here? For the main energy. Happening for the heart space. I mean, this energy, though. And what I just love is the releasing of, like, this low vibrational energy. And I feel like this low vibrational energy has been going on, Leo, is because both of you have been healing from the pain. And this is not pain. Um, it could have been for some time where there was trauma from the past where both of you could have been healing from that pain. But I'm talking about the actual pain between the two of you, right, during the relationship, the past hurts, where you both of you were feeling betrayed or feeling hurt or holding on to past grudges. I see after this conversation today, I was, if it had, didn't happen today, it's happening at some point or sometime so here or it could have happened in the recent past here, but a conversation between you two, a moment of truth, um, emotional communication that is going to open up the gates to a new beginning between the two of you. Um, like I said, yeah, see... There was loneliness here. There was loneliness. There was a time where you both were feeling stuck here in this soulmate connection. It maybe came to a stalemate. Both of you were feeling stuck. Both of you were feeling hurt, betrayed from the past. Um, but what I love is the uh, hangman card came out of the reverse. So there's, there's an awakening here that's taking place. A renewed faith is taking place. 
a new hope taking place here based on the recognition of the truth. Um, and both of you being open and willing to discuss the truth. Moving in calmer water, you know, into calmer water with the Six of Swords. A releasing of negative thoughts here. I'm seeing that with this angel wing uh, cloth that's coming from this character. Um, a time of being left out in the cold, you know. And I see a conversation where uh, the two of you, Leo, talk about where you've been hurt. Where those pains have been lying. Right, um, why is the magician and the page of cups here? But they turn beautiful here, yeah. See, denial, yeah, there was some denial here. I do see that in the energy, which is why let's get one more card. The both of you were feeling like, and there was so much unsaid, unspoken. That's the main energy. Um, that I'm getting from there. Yeah. After the yearn is rejected. Yeah, the chamber of dead hearts. Yeah, see, you both have been yearning for each other. You know, no matter the cost I pay at the bottom of the deck. So, both of you willing to do what it takes no matter what. To heal what's broken between the two of you, Leo. We have soaring lower than the tides of loneliness. We also have denial and rejection of self far from the internal. And also, after the yearn is rejected, the chamber of dead hearts. So, there's been a lot of yearn and desire. And what I love, though, what's beautiful after this Ten of Wands energy, the struggle being over between the two of you and the connection is this desire, you know, this passion, this burning desire and passion that you all have between the two of you, this flame that is forever lit. I mean, this is like, who the consummate love story, the fiery fireworks type of love story. Ooh, my goodness, Leo, this is some good stuff. Yeah, look at that, Ace of Pentacles. A beautiful new beginning, prosperous beginning. The start to a new forever with the Ace of Swords. Wow, this is, wow, look at that, Leo, as soon as I said that, with the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. And everything that you all have invested not being in vain here, the Seven of Pentacles. I really love this. Um, let's take a look at your person's feelings, their energy right now. Let's take a deep dive, Leo. Woo! Let me tell you, I am so excited to be here with you. I'm so glad you guys are tuning in with me because Miss Sunny loves you all. Love unlimited to my babies. Are y'all kidding me? Y'all, this is the Donda. <laughs> y'all better tell the people to stop playing with y'all, Leo. <laughs> They better stop playing. <laughs> okay, what's going on um, in uh, Leo's soulmate's energy? Whoever it is Leo's thinking about at this time. Thank you, spirits. Yeah, look at that justice. The balancing, balancing of the scales. They're thinking about you all coming together here. Um, the balance being restored between the two of you. Uh, justice is Libra energy. Thank you, spirits. Yeah, look at that. There's that page of cups. There they are, Leo. We got page of cups again. Confirmation. Communication. Emotional communication here. King of Wands. Passionate. Um, To the Ten of Wands. What did I say? What did I say, Leo? You have Justice card to the Ten of Wands. The struggle, the fight, the battle between you two. This could have been a karmic cycle that you guys were on. This could be your twin flame as well. I'm getting twin flame energy. Where there, like I said, there could have been a cycle here. A time when you all were just clashing. It was hot and cold. Um, clashing. but And then a breakdown. A breaking point, right? Where new boundaries were set. All that kind of good stuff. But I see here a um, true conversation here that takes place. A moment of truth. Which brings justice to the table. Because both of you are willing to go there, right? Willing to not be afraid to put it on the table about your needs and what you want. And I see this Ten of Wands. Let me show it to you. The struggle being over. Yeah. There you are. King of Swords. Yeah, there it is. The same cards. That represents both of you all mirroring each other in a healthy way. So, you, you all have been coming from a time of mirroring each other in an unhealthy way. Look at that. We have the Wheel of Fortune once again. 
That's beautiful. That is absolutely amazing. And this doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, the world at the bottom of the deck. The ending of the cycle. What did I just say, Leo? The tarot never lies. Yeah, and a beautiful new beginning. Um, so like I was saying before, you all were in the phase where you were mirroring each other toxically. So you were mirroring the bad traits within one another. So, you know, you would get angry, they would get angry. You know, you would uh, be resentful, they would be resentful. You would be bitter, they would be bitter. But this time, now, you guys, that chapter's ending with this Ten of Wands energy to the justice. Uh, justice, your justice is here. The cycle, also, we have the world card, the cycle coming to a complete close. And the new, passionate, fiery beginning I'm talking about with your soulmate here with this uh, Wheel of Fortune card. Beautiful communication. Communication also that is showing up Wheel of Fortune in this, this position here, showing up for confirmation for the Page of Cups, which uh, the communication that takes place, like I said here, is going to turn things in you all's favor here. Um, <clears throat> King of Wands, please. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. You both are going to say, well, let's go ahead and work through this. You know, let's... And their person here, that's what they're going to do. They're going to communicate, uh, you know, be true about how they feel. Communicate and say, hey, let's work through this. You know, whatever's happened between us, whatever, that's cool. But let's work on it. Yeah, like I said, it's again, magician at the bottom of the deck. Let's work things in our favor here. I mean, they're coming in, you know. They're going to... They're ready. The time is over. If you've been waiting on the time, there it is. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. The time for you guys to come back together here and the cycle being over. Uh, with this uh, love-hate cycle or this cycle where you guys were not seeing eye to eye. That is over. That cycle has come to a close. Let's see what's going on with your energy, Leo. Um, Leo's energy towards their person that they're thinking about here. Talk about Leo's energy. Give me Leo's energies. I want Leo <laughs> energies. Y'all, are they playing with y'all? <laughs> Leo, leave me a comment, y'all. Stop playing. <laughs> this rebirth. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Look at your energy. That's Scorpio energy. Beautiful energy, um, Leo. What I love about your energy is there could have been a lot of shadow work here taking place in your energy, but a beautiful rebirth um, in your energy here with this death card energy, the two of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. What else do we have for Leo's energy? The knight of swords. Leo's energy. Or I swear, yeah, there it is. You are healing. Oh, you're wonderful. That's what you've been wanting here. That's your energy too. You have dead things to end the time of you all been, being in this disagreement. Like I said, there could have been, there was something that happened, Leo, where it was like a breaking point for you too, where new boundaries were set. There could have been an argument here because I do see this Knight of Swords energy uh, where the two of you may have said some things to each other that were hurtful, things like that. But like I said, that time is coming to an end um, and you all being in this Four of Swords energy. And like I said, um, yeah, I mean, you both of you, you're in that energy too with the Seven of Pentacles looking at the investment, how much you all mean to each other. Um... The hair fan. Yeah, look at that. A higher level of commitment. That's what you're in. Beautiful energy, Leo. And um, the hair fan is um, Taurus. Um, you could begin with the Taurus. We have Nine of Swords. Yeah, and that's what you've been thinking about, you know, and this Nine of Swords energy. We're about, you know, healing things between you two of you. This could be marriage also for a lot of you with the hair for card showing up. This could definitely be a marriage, a committed relationship. Absolutely. Um, so it was just a rough cycle. That's all, Leo, if you were wondering. The Empress, there they are. Yeah, some of you definitely got your, the Taurus. You got the Empress showing up. Ooh. 
They're going to miss Taurus. They're going to miss the Taurus. Woo! But, um, I mean, I think just look at this. I see you realizing here just how much um, you love this person here. I really do see that, though. And you think about how wonderful and loving and loyal this person is to you. And this is just, um, I did see the Emperor, too, earlier when I was shuffling. This is a divine pair, like a divine counterpart. This is like your true match, Leo. And, and you guys, like I said, there's that truth. The Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, you guys healthy, uh, communicating healthily. Um, or in a healthy uh, manner here. This is healthy communication. Yeah. And like I said, you guys are going to move out of this time of feeling uh, regretful, sad, like a time of loss, into this star energy, a healed energy, uh, wish fulfillment. You guys yearning for each other, and they're all coming to fruition here. Look at that. There's six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Victory for the two of you. Well, how beautiful is this reading? This reading is the is definitely the Don de Leo. <laughs> this that Don de. This is the Don de. Yeah, page of swords, six of cups. Yeah, that's what you've been looking for. There they are. A reunion between the two of you, you and your soulmate coming back together here. Yep, that's definitely happening. Let's get, let's get the tea. What's going on? What's the tea, Leo? What's the tea? <laughs> Leo, I love ya. I swear. This is the Donna. Okay, Spirit, talk to me about this um, overall energy. What's the tea? What more messages do we need? What's the tea? For my Leo's. One on her. One on Spirit. It's moving in the right direction. Thank you, Spirits. Yeah, running. So we have running and we have Forcer. Forces stays on you. Forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Yeah, so you could have felt like um a little smothered here in the relationship, or you could have been feeling like this person, or feeling like you had to run, or feeling like this person been, has been running from you um, based on uh, the things that have happened between the two of you. Um, and like I said, this is giving me this stuck energy too. Um, or you could have felt like this person was forcing how they felt on you. And you weren't being heard. You know what I'm saying, Leo? Um, so you could have been feeling that energy. You know? Or feeling like you aren't getting your needs met. Or the needs that... What you truly needed from this person, they weren't giving it to you like you needed it. Yeah, this is... Yeah. I always associate this card with careless. It's carless, but I always get careless. Um, and um, you could have been feeling like that, that this person was a little bit careless or has been being very, uh, a little bit careless lately. Possibly careless with their words or careless with, you know, in the relationship itself, you know. And these are all issues that have been part of the struggle that's been going on between the two of you. Um... What else do we have? Rejected. Yeah, that's how you could have been feeling. Like Y'all rejected. Like this person was rejecting you. Oh, wait a minute, Leo. You thought this person was creeping. Now, wait a minute, Leo. <laughs> Stop playing. You thought this person was creeping down on the on the town, on the do the run the go go shit. Stop playing, Leo. Cock black and red reputation. You thought this person was creeping. Let me see. Why why you been feeling rejected, Leo? Let me let me clarify. <laughs> What's all this? Scarcity, Texas, girl, fight. Kiss Nash. You probably was feeling like this person wanted you to kiss y'all and kiss they ass after the fight. After the fight y'all had, because we got kissing ass, um, girl fight and scarcity tactics. 
So you probably thought this person was trying to get you to kiss their ass or bend your knee or something like that, Leo, um, to get your attention. So they would reject you and stuff like that. But you felt like it was played out. You know, you was like, let me move on. Let me, you know, they got me messed up. Let me go on about my business right now because they got me messed up right now, Leo. They had you fucked up, Leo. Stop playing out here. <laughs> and you was like, you know what? Same shit, different day. Is that playing with y'all? <laughs> I'm playing. So, you know, I mean, but, you know, there's a little, little crazy stuff to be going on when you get in these arguments and stuff or whatever. You know. Plus, I'm um, running boss daddy. Mm. Maybe you thought this person was trying to look for somebody better or something like that. Or... <laughs> or you feel like this person is, um, how do you say? Because we got fake flexing at the bottom of the deck. Or you felt like this person was um, kind of self-inflated, possibly. Um, forcer. Why is forcer? Yeah, that's why forcer is here. Because you feel like this person, you know, forcer is opinions off on you is kind of self-inflated and you know make people feel yeah we do a lot of yeah uh romance of fair threat yeah that's what you've been thinking you know you've been thinking because this popped out while i was shuffling and spirits wanted to talk about this you've been doing a lot of reflecting over this relationship anyway though um leo and you know thinking about how much you love this person but you know you were I do see that in the energy because all the silence and stuff between the two of you, you have been thinking there could have been, you know, some third party energy, but I really don't feel that in the energy. Um, but you were thinking that in your head. You were thinking, what is this person trying to do? The hokey poke? <laughs> Threatened by a romantic love affair. You was feeling that in your head. You was thinking that. You were saying, is they trying to do the, the Ronda Bogo Goshen? But this not, uh, Leo, I would have saw that in the energy. So, this definitely not happening. I don't see that in this person's energy, Leo. Um, you and this person think on the same page here. That's what I love about this reading. It, it's you all getting back on the same page. That's really what this reading is about. You guys coming from a time where you were definitely not on the same page and getting back on the same page. Like, for real, for real this time. Why is Forster here? <clears throat> I see a lot of difference of opinions here, difference of, you know, just little petty stuff, you know, that, let me see. Um, but ultimately, it led to denial and rejection of self. And rejection of self is basically just re rejection. Both of you could have been doing that. Uh, but definitely, this person could have been rejecting um, what they need to hold themselves accountable to and their energy forcer. Talking shit. Yeah, that's what you... Damn, that's what I'm saying. There they is, Leo. This, you feel like this person talk a lot of shit. But they, they, but they don't want to um, face the fact they talk a lot of bullshit. You know, I talk a lot of shit. Or you feel like this person get to talking will not shit the fuck up, Leo. <laughs> they get to talking and they get not let this shit go. Like, damn. <laughs> they playing with y'all, Leo. <laughs> They damn you. You still mad about something ten months ago? Fuck. I know I did this shit, but damn, I thought you said you forgive me. <laughs> this what you said. Yeah, you feel like this person always be dirt digging on you. You know. Uh, what we got her legal issues, fake smile, and travel. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what you, that's what it is. You thought this person had some planning behind your back. You got, you start getting real suspicious of this person, Leo. Like, they planning some secretly behind your back with this travel court and a legal issue with fake smiles. Yeah. Um, Curlis, why is Curlis here? Well, how much time am I in? 34? You know, I'm trying to get y'all a full one. I'm trying to get y'all a full one, y'all, Leo. Stop playing. <laughs> Miss Sun, don't play about y'all grudge house. That's what it is. That's what it is, Leo. You feel like this person hold grudges. You feel like they secretly hold grudges. And that's one of the big things between um the coming between y'all's uh happiness and stuff. You feel like this person hold grudges or secretly hold grudges and they throw a rock and hide their hand. They you feel like this person, um, 
hold on to shit. You know, like it'd be something happened. You did something to this person three months ago or ten months ago, and they still be secretly holding on to that shit. You know, but act unfazed about it at the bottom of the deck. They act like they unfazed, but they hold grudges and shit. You know. And that's why they reject you. Yeah, legal issue. That's why they're showing up for rejection because they hold you accountable secretly as in in the grudge arena. You know, this this person is saying, oh, I'm over it, you know, or well, I don't worry about that anymore. No but you feel like secretly this person deep down, they hold you under contempt, like a contemptual contract, you know, of of grudge holding. Like they hold you accountable to some shit that happened a long time ago, you know, or they won't let the shit go. You know. And then they do a lot of crying over you and stuff like that. Or they'll think about what happened and cry over in secret and stuff like that. I'm getting that energy too. But, you know, I see they being expelled. That's the one thing about this uh, Leo. This person probably had been doing that stuff, but I see this coming to an end. Um, And I see this cycle coming to a close. That's what I see. Let's take a look at possible outcomes. Um, Possible outcomes for Leo, please. Possible outcomes for Leo. Let's get possible outcomes. Possible outcome. Possible outcomes for Leo. Possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. Possible outcomes for Leo. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all stop playing. Y'all stop. I don't got no seats. Y'all leave me a comment, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, Miss Sunny, you stop playing with us. <laughs> she done went off and lost her braces. <laughs> stop playing, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know I got to miss with y'all, Leo. Y'all know I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Possible outcomes for Leo, please. Possible outcomes for Leo. Okay, we got the two of pentacles. Possible outcomes for Leo, please. Possible outcomes for Leo. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. I knew it was coming out of y'all. I'm telling y'all, I love y'all's reading today. This is Dead Honor. This is the reading I'm saying. Because let me see. Y'all decide to go ahead and turn. Look at that. Six of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. Things are equal give and take now. There's a mutual understanding that you guys have. A bond that's unbreakable. I'm getting that energy. Like this right here. This energy. This Two of Pentacles to this. Wheel of Fortune to the Six of Pentacles. My God. See, and this was that's the problem. Both of y'all had trust issues with this Seven of Wands, uh, Seven of Swords energy. That's what it was. The trust was broken in the past. Major issues there. And then trust issues. See, boom. And that's what caused the imbalance in this connection, right? Equal give and take and all that good stuff. Um, and both y'all know, both y'all know what's going on with that high of priestess, uh, energy at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. Come on, y'all, stop playing, leave me a comment. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is their real one. This is their real daughter. No, stop playing, Leo. Is they playing with y'all out here in these streets? Do I gotta pull up? <laughs> Leo, who messing with y'all out here in these streets? Y'all, now y'all put something in these comments. Put it in the comments and I'm on my way, y'all. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear that message, but somebody's messing with y'all out here in the streets. Now, now stop playing, Leo. <laughs> don't, 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 don't have me. Now, I told y'all. Now, my husband, Leo, y'all know I'm a tourist. Stop playing. Y'all know I'm y'all defender. Not the cups. Here it go. Y'all communicate. What I say, y'all, Leo? The, the tarot don't lie. Not the cups. Y'all think I'm lying? Let me show y'all the court. Not the cups. Let me tell y'all. This right here. This is amazing. This energy I'm feeling. Two of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune to the Knight of Cups. I mean, the conversation, like I said. 
I'm keep getting this energy, this communication. You guys have been in this in this energy where there's been horrible communication or no communication at all. Like zilch. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. Um, and there's this communication, this beautiful communication is coming in. This turning things in the right direction here. Will of Fortune and the Knight of Cups. And this, like I said, is possible outcome. Look at this possible outcome. This is beautiful. This is amazing. See, y'all start thinking, oh, woo, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all start thinking too quick. What's up? <laughs> Leo, y'all start thinking, oh, this ain't gonna work no more. Oh, it ain't going right. Y'all quit thinking out quick like. That was too quick. <laughs> Dang. Let Miss Sunny tell y'all what's going on. Y'all was thinking too quick. Y'all started thinking before y'all tapped on the screen. Y'all was thinking, oh, it ain't going to work no more. They said something to me. It's going to be fucked up. But see, what I'm trying to tell y'all is in this reading, that, that this is not over. Is y'all losing? Y'all thought this was over? Is y'all losing y'all brain cells? This is a this is a uh your person. This is this is a soulmate connection here. I know exactly what I'm looking at. See, I know exactly what I'm looking at. And this is not over. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This energy that y'all in. So y'all need to really stop playing Leo. Look at that. Look at y'all being very... See, y'all know. Like, I'm loving this beautiful energy. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, you guys definitely could be dealing with Taurus or another Earth sign. But look at that. What did I say? Divine pair. Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Like, the foundation. Like, the. I mean, you guys are a rock. Like, this connection you got is unbreakable. What did I say? King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. This is the power couple of couples. Like, this is the divine counterpart. And this Eight of Cups energy is y'all walking away from a dark time, a dark cycle, a non-communicative cycle, a cycle where it, it was, you guys were in that Ten of Wands energy and walking into the Six of Wands. What am I saying here, Leo? Walking into victory, success. A bright future here. Look at that. And all this love that's between you two with the street car. That's you, Leo. At the bottom of the deck. And there's your empress right there. You probably got a Taurus. Don't let your Taurus go earlier. Because, <laughs> you know, in this card, that's the Taurus. That's the empress that holds and comforts Leo in the strength card, in case you guys don't know that. Um... But this is beautiful, Leo. This is beautiful. I hope this all gives you hope, especially if you all have been concerned about your relationship life. This is actually beautiful, this reading. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Because, I mean, I've been getting, I'm doing a lot of readings for a lot of people every day. And I've been seeing a lot of stuff. People, you know, y'all, people be groupies and stuff. People out here cheating. People out here turning it up for, for a check, trying to do their big one. Hashtag Natalie from Baddies. I mean, are they playing with us? You know, you, I'm saying all this stuff going on in these readings, y'all. But this reading today, Leo, was absolutely gorgeous energy. Beautiful. I really enjoyed this reading. I I, I swear to y'all. Because these, I'm telling you, I've been doing readings every day. And it's been somebody, some culprit in there, or some type of spider web. Somebody got to dig out of. And you know, it's too much of that going on. But we praise you, Lord, anyway. All right, Leo. Now, you know I love y'all. Um, Every drop of y'all. Now, let me tell y'all, I love y'all. Now, stop playing out here. And if anybody trying to play with y'all, just, just come bring them to see Miss Sunny. <laughs> and, and I'll tell them what to do. But I love y'all so much. Love Unlimited. I hope this really helped with you all today for your current situation, your current energy. You know, many blessings and abundance to y'all on your magnificent journey. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Miss Sunny loves and appreciate you when you do. To my current subscribers, I love you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and do hit that notification bell so that you can get all of the latest videos that Miss Sunny is voting here to Central of Concave Souls Tarot. But until the next reading, take care of yourself. Love yourself mercilessly. 
And don't forget about you this time. And don't forget to tell the devil no as you look him in those fiery eyes. And remember that you are someone special. Until we meet again, my beautiful soul sojourners, I will see you soon. Bye for now.